Mathematics Standard 4 Angles Children, we see a lot of angles around us every day. We see angles between the ground and the slide. The ladder makes an angle with the ground. We see angles between the tree trunk and its branches. There is an angle between the electric pole and the ground. Right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle. Let us learn about the types of angles. We see a right angle between two adjoining sides of a window. Two adjacent sides of a book make a right angle. Have you seen a clock? In a clock, at three o'clock and nine o'clock, the minute hand and the hour hand are at right angles to each other. Look at the picture alongside. There is a right angle between the two blades of the scissor. As we reduce the distance between the tips of the blades, little by little, the angle between the blades grows smaller than a right angle. An angle which is smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle. But as we increase the distance between the tips of the blades, the angle between the blades grows bigger than a right angle. An angle that is bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. Look at the hands of this clock. At three o'clock, the hands of the clock are in a right angle. At 10.40, the hands of the clock are at an acute angle. At 12.25, the hands of the clock are at an obtuse angle. Observe the figures below and write right angle, acute angle or obtuse angle in the box below each figure. Acute angle Right angle Obtuse angle Obtuse angle Acute angle Very good! Now make right angles by joining the dots in the box below. Look at these examples and check. Is this true? The angles an electric pole makes with the ground is a right angle. The slide makes one acute angle and one obtuse angle with the ground. The ladder makes one acute angle and one obtuse angle with the wall. Leaving the thumb, the angles between any two adjoining figures is an acute angle. Circle. All these objects 
are circular. A bangle, a bicycle wheel, a cart wheel. Circle Center, radius, diameter, chord. Take a small steel bowl, place it upside down on a piece of paper and trace its outline. Remove the bowl. The figure you get on the piece of paper is a circle. Draw two or three circles like this one and cut out the circular paper shapes. Take one of these shapes and fold it as shown in the picture. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. This line is called a chord of the circle. Now fold another circular shape to divide into two halves. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. This line is called a diameter of the circle. The diameter 2 is a chord of the circle. Now fold the shape again so that we get a quarter part of the shape. Unfold the paper shape. Now you see the circular shape again. Trace the lines of the folds. The point at which these lines meet each other is the center of the circle. Name the center of the circle M. Take any point P on the circle. Draw the line MP with your ruler. MP is a radius of the circle. Drawing a circle using a compass. Take a piece of paper. Choose any point near the middle of the paper. Take a suitable distance between the steel tip of the compass and the tip of the pencil. Place the steel tip on the chosen point. Hold it in place and turn the pencil tip around it to trace a circle. Mark with a red pencil the point at which you held the steel tip. Now cut out this circle. Fold it twice as before to obtain two diameters of the circle. Observe that these two diameters meet at the red point. It means that the red point is the center of the circle. Look at each circle. Is the line shown by the arrow a chord, a diameter or a radius of the circle? Write it in the box below. Center Chord Diameter Radius Very good! Geometrical figures, vertex and side. Observe the figure and complete the table below. This is a rectangle. It has four sides. It has four corners. This is a square. It has four sides and four corners. This is a triangle. It has three sides and three corners. Rectangle A rectangle has four edges. That is, four sides. The point where two sides meet is called a vertex. In this figure, A, B, C and D are the vertices. 
Here, the side AB, BC, CD, AD are the sides of the rectangle. The opposite sides of the rectangle are of equal length. All the angles of a rectangle are right angles. A rectangle is also called a right-angled quadrilateral. Square A square has four vertices and four sides. In this figure, P, M, R and S are the vertices of the square. All the sides of a square are of equal length and all its angles are right angles. Triangle A triangle has three vertices and three sides. Y, R and L are the vertices of this triangle. Y, R R, L and Y, L are the three sides of the triangle. A triangle has three angles. Look at the figure and complete the table below. This is triangle A, B, C. The names of the sides are side A, B, side BC and side AC. The vertices of this triangle are A, B and C. Now look at the rectangle PQRS. The sides are side PQ, side QR, side RS, and side PS. The vertices are P, Q, R and S. Now look at the square L, M and O. The sides are side L, M, side M, N, side N, O and side L, O. The vertices are L, M, N and O.